Welcome back. My name is Teresa. I'm very much alive. Am I alive today? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. All right. I have an awful garbage, filthy mouth where sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to use the word fuck as a comma. If you're not into that or weird stuff in general, then this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember our time fondly. Y'all, I am so excited because I don't ever do these kind of videos, but fall is upon us and mama went a little crazy in terms of the stuff that I need to buy for my house because, you know, seasonal depression. <laughs> Except just, you know, replace seasonal and just put pandemic depression. Or just depression. Depression. Old fashioned. Old fashioned like, depression. Like mom used to make. Oh, so, so much to unpack with that one. <laughs> oh boy. All right. We have a lot of stuff. And they're all different things. There's some makeup, there's some like bath and body work stuff, there's Target things, there's alcohol. <laughs> Surge protectors. Surge protectors, because I love me a good pumpkin spice surge protector. I don't like being thrown to surges. And it's a little pumpkin fun. It's a little pumpkin fun. There's no pumpkin on it, is yeah. it? <laughs> Put a sticker on it. I'll dip it in the puree it was made. Oh, God. All right, so y'all get your pumpkin cold brew on, all right? And we're gonna go pumpkin crazy. I couldn't think of anything else to say. So the first thing is actually from the Disney store. Now, I go to Disney like at least seven times a year. Not really, I go twice a year because my best friend lives down there. And you know, because of like the current global situation, you can't really go anywhere or you can, but then you risk a lot of things. <laughs> so I really, 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 really miss going to Florida around this time of year. And I usually go around my birthday, which my birthday is October 17th. I'm just so bummed out. But anyway, who cares? Now, what I did pick up this year is this little teeny tiny adorable little Mickey Mouse ghost thing that apparently it's supposed to light up. I got a defective one because you know why? It's 2020 and that's just how things are. Everything's defective. It oh, blinded oh, me for like really a fucking blind, minute. Like, it was like, I think it tried to take you out and it's like, breath. <laughs> you know what it was? It was like um, the end of it when you look into the... <laughs> when you start looking into like the deadlights that's what it oh, did yeah, i looked into yeah. it and it literally uh, oh my god it fucking fl oh i hope i got that on camera it fucking flashed and my hair almost went looking, white so I, I don't believe it. Mm! okay i swear to god i really hope that I <laughs> if not then i'm a liar okay <laughs> jesus i did I did not expect it to bounce off of the fucking softbox. That would hit me right in the face if you didn't, so. All right, moving on. Anyway, so that was from Disney. Super excited about that. And I also got some dish towels. I'm gonna put up here. They suck. Don't recommend them. Don't even look at them. They're decorative. Who gets decorative dish towels? I want something that's like, you know, soft. These are like, I think made out of sandpaper. Don't get them. They suck. All right, moving on. So let's talk about some stuff that I picked up at Bath and Body Works, which by the way, there was like this crazy sale that was like, I think soap was like $2.50 or something like that. Normally it's, I think it's like about seven or $8. I got 30. Cause you know, global situation. <laughs> so I have 30 of them, mostly in the pumpkin variety because I am a whore for pumpkin. So I got a bunch of those, but the cute thing that I did pick up is one of these guys, which again, I would pick it up, but it's currently in my bathroom and I don't want to get up. So this is adorable. Did I really need it? No, but it's a haunted house. Like, Obviously I fucking needed it. It's fucking cute. I love this and it's going to stay up year round because I don't give a fuck because that's what most of our <laughs> decorations, they just stay up year round because we're adults. The next thing I picked up were actually some of these candles because they also had a really good deal where I believe they were about like $10 off or so. So the first one is the smell of autumn, which I don't have a sense of smell, but this is what I like to imagine autumn to smell like. Clean. Can you smell this? Tell me what it smells like. Here's our resident no smeller, Paul Giamatti. It does smell clean. Oh, fuck you, fuck you, I was autumn. right. It smells like a Cloroxy autumn. Yeah, it smells like a chemically clean. So basically back to school. <laughs> <laughs> smells it's good? It's not like strangling me, so that's always a plus. We love that. So this is adorable. And I also got Marshmallow Fireside, which I could actually smell this. And it smells like, 
Marshmallows? It smells like marshmallows. <laughs> it's, it smells like, you know, I'm at a lodge and I'm making like s'mores. They spent way too much money on my vacation. Sure. So they want to give me like the rustic experience. And they're like, here, take this stick that we found outside. And meanwhile, it's a fucking kit that they sell at like Costco or Sam's Club or something like and that. And it's like $40. Yeah, it's like, oh, you get to roast Ooh. marshmallows by the fireside <laughs> for an extra $6,000. <laughs> For persons. That's right. They get like some fucking townie to tell some fucking lore or something like that. That's what this smells marshmallow like. Marshmallow lore? <laughs> Marsh yes, the great marshmallow monster. Oh, the tale of the great marshmallow monster. Have a seat all. Listen, I bet you every fucking Swiss Alp thing somewhere has some sort of marshmallow monster. Like, <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Especially on this day, 10 years ago. The next one is perfect pumpkin. I don't know what this smells like. <laughs> Sorry, a piece of my brain just fucking flew out of my face. That sounds like my life. That's not pumpkin, dude. I don't know what the fuck that is. That's not pumpkin. Okay, on it is a pumpkin patch with a black cat staring at the sky. Spooky. It's in black and white, so they use an Instagram filter. It literally just smells like potpourri. Fuck, they had me. Y'all just got... Ugh. I hate that. They put a slap of Halloween sticker on it and then put some fucking potpourri from your grandmother's bathroom in there. That's definitely all they did. Like, it's literally potpourri. Nothing you else. You know what it's I feel like? like pumpkin spice potpourri. That pisses me off because you know why? They spent all their budget on the picture on the outside. <laughs> it kind of, like, I love how aggressive I am smelling. It smells like that potpourri that's in your grandmother's bathroom. That, like, you take a shit because her cooking does not agree with you. And then you're just trying to waff it out. But instead I mean, it just smells just like this. Take a shit. It smells like this and just faint fecal. That's what it smells like. Faint fecal. <laughs> yes. Wow. Faint fecal. Either way, they fucking had me on this yeah. one, so I don't recommend getting the perfect pumpkin. This is fucking garbage. Yeah, that's a skip. I'm so mad. So mad. Unless you don't light your candles and just fucking stare at the pictures. I mean, you could do that too, but like, even the picture's not that cute. No. What the fuck is wrong with me? You got fucked. Moving on. Let's do some makeup and then we'll move on to like the Target haul because I think I got most of the stuff at Target. The first thing is actually. I'll set this part up. Oh, of course she will. Actually, I'm kind of pissed because FedEx was supposed to come today and drop off the BH palettes, these guys over here. I picked them up because out of all the Halloween makeup that was pretty much released this year, this is the thing that I was like, ooh, I want to look like an 80s slut. So I don't have it. I thought it was going to come today, but I definitely picked this up. So otherwise I would have included it in the haul. The next one is from Rebel Rouge Labs, which I really dig the artwork of this because it reminds me of, oh my God, what the fuck is that production company? It's like Dark Tower or something like that. I don't know. The, the vibe looks very familiar. I just don't know where I can, I'm placing it. I think I'm combining a bunch of different things. You get this really, really cute palette, which is giving me fucking Dario Argento slash Pet Cemetery vibes. Fucking living for it. And this is what the palette looks like, which looks like a very fun Halloween palette, which I'm super excited to play with. I did swatch the mattes and the shimmers and they were really cool. They felt very smooth and very buttery, very pigmented. The thing I do not like though is the shade Ghosted, but y'all know I do not like fucking pressed glitter. I fucking hate it, hate it with a passion. But that's completely fine because the other shades are working pretty well. So I'm definitely going to include this in a get ready with me in the future because I really want to play with the quality of this because I've heard actually nothing really about Rebel Rouge Lab. So this, I'm very happy that this is like my first purchase, a very Halloweenified purchase. Super fucking excited. So definitely check that out in the future. And y'all are going to make fun of me for the next purchase because I don't know what happened. Okay. I don't know what happened. I don't know what came over me, but it is what it is. And I'm just going to show it to you. Okay. And, and we're just going to have to deal with it. We're just going to have to deal with it. I don't know what happened. Okay. I, I don't know. It's just like I had my Ugg boots on, had my pumpkin spice latte in hand. Next thing you know, I'm literally ordering this and asking to speak to somebody's manager. I don't know what happened, but it's here. So if you want to see a review of this, like, and then to make matters worse, <laughs> I picked up this Buxom Plumping Lip Cream in the shade Pumpkin Spice Latte. I was really fulfilling my fucking pumpkin fantasy. I couldn't help it. I was like, I'm so basic, so white, I need to have this. And there's that. <sighs> this is what she looks like. There is nothing fantastic or spectacular about her. She is basic as fuck. Swatch wise though, I was like, oh shit, this is actually, this is actually pretty good. This is interesting. I kind of like it. I'm into it. Yes, the purple kind of fucking throws me off. There could be a little bit more orange representation in here, but this is so like, Fucking bait. I feel embarrassed. I'm such a clown. I'm a fucking clown. I get it. Go ahead, roast me in the comments. It's totally fine. I deserve it. I deserve every fucking second of it. But Buxom lip cream, lip cream. This just looks so fucking pretty. Ugh. Fuck me up. I'm excited. This is so basic. This is so boring. 
I was thinking it would be kind of funny to do like, <laughs> do a get ready with me and just kind of turn me into like basically a basic pumpkin spice tramp. So if you're into that, let me know down below and I'll totally do it. Fuck it, either way I'm gonna do, I am gonna do it, fuck that. No, fuck this. Since I purchased this, I might as well make a fucking video about it, right? And really turn myself into a fucking clown. Pumpkin clown. The rest of this is pretty much a fucking target haul. <laughs> The first thing I picked up is this LED light. So I, I wanna say for the last like, what, three years? Four years, five years? Probably four to five. Ever since Target started coming out with these, I just get at least like one or two. And this one I thought was probably the cutest out of all of them. They have Boo, they have a ghost, they have a bat, which I actually have the bat and the ghost. This one I was like, oh shit, this is actually pretty fucking cute. It's not too huge. So definitely, I don't know where the fuck we're gonna put it, but I'm excited. It was funny because I was like, ah, we don't need this. And then I just kept staring at it and Alex was like, just fucking put it in the cart, stop being a weirdo. And I was like, okay. The other thing I got is this lovely welcome mat, which I look forward to putting this in front of my door. So when the uh, weirdo guy across the hall tries to smell my shoes, at least he can smell them on this. I will say that I'm actually quite disappointed in Target this year because I feel like a lot of this shit was pretty much stuff from the last two years. And I know that like Halloween's technically canceled. Well, all holidays is pretty much canceled for the remainder of the year. I don't know, I was kind of like disappointed, but this was like the cutest I think out of all the different doormats. Yeah. Anyway, I hope that guy likes it. I hope he's like, gonna smell some shoes. It's like, oh, pumpkins, that's fun. And then he smells them. Oh, I can't and then he walks away. Can't wait. I'm getting grossed out just thinking about it. Now these are really good. So this is like a cute little dish towel set. They're like six bucks. If you want something spooky, I recommend getting this. Don't fuck with those Disney ones. They suck ass. But these are awesome. And of course I had to get it in the classic orange and black because I'm just a pumpkin dream. Pumpkin spice dream? Yeah. I'm pumpkin bitch? I'm a pumpkin bitch. These are fucking cute. I saw these and I was like, oh, I'm gonna have one. I, I turned around and you were already throwing him in the cart. I was like, cool. I mean, they're fucking bats. Like, come on. And ghosts. And they're actually pretty good. All right, so when I'm not shoving my face with like fucking Cheetos and Doritos, I actually really like Please veggie like chips. That. <laughs> Literally, that is my life talking like that. <laughs> that is my bread and butter talking because like it's that. it's so real, I hate it. Like, I know people that talk like that. Really? Who? I don't speak of them. They're like, I really love my bats and my cats. Like that? Yeah, well, obviously I don't talk to them anymore, but because I don't hate myself. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I sometimes like to partake in a veggie chip. And actually, these are really cute. And listen. Listen, I'm one of those assholes that if you put a fucking pumpkin on the outside packaging, I'm like, well, obviously it tastes different. Like I need to get them and I get them. We've had fucking fruit snacks with vampires on them. I'm like, we have to get this fucking. Cheez-Its with pumpkins on the bag. Oh yeah, we have like a whole, we have like a fucking 600 things of Cheez-Its <laughs> that you're supposed to give to trick-or-treaters. Fuck them. No, those are mine. Those are mine, bitch. Muddy Buddies, anything that has like a fucking pumpkin or mummy or some sort of fucking Holly Halloween. Ha Halloween, what is that? I was about to say Hollywood image and then oh, and then yeah. Halloween came out. Hollywood image. <laughs> Anything like Halloween, fucking I'm yours. So I love this. Anyway, these are really good and they're actually really adorable. And I'm gonna put these down because I can't take the fucking crinkling. Misophonia. I forgot we got candy. No, this no. I'm like fucking intrigued with and I know it's gonna taste like shit, but this is the Reese's Franken cup. This is gonna taste like shit. I'm okay with that. Half screen. Whee! That's it. Anything that has orange color, like Kit Kat, like orange Kit Kats tastes fucking weird. I don't like when they color chocolate and they're like, ooh, it's Halloween. Like, I don't like that. Like, I like the outside packaging to be all cool, but not the actual candy. But this just piqued my interest enough that I was like, either my shit's gonna be green or I'm gonna like fucking hate it because it's gonna taste like just chemicals. Either way, it was a $1.60. You can't put a price on that. $1.60 plus tax. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Eat a bag of dicks. And then Alex, you need to get these Reese's Boos, which these are your favorite ones, right? Like you. I, I like any of the seasonal Reese's cups. Because they have because more. They have more peanut butter. And I'm a peanut butter bitch. I love peanut butter. You're heard so, it here, folks. Peanut pumpkins, butter bitch. Trees, eggs. Fuck me up. I'm getting those. Fuck me up, fam. Getting all the peanut butter. Okay, this is kind of not Halloween, but it's kind of like Halloween. Fun. But it's kind of just fun. We don't have kids. We don't have kids. We have nieces and nephews. That's pretty much it. It's not for them. This is not for, oh, fuck that. Get out of here. No, you have parents to buy you that shit. 
we are a gaming family here and this we actually um we saw this on a youtuber that we watched his name is max mofo and he was <laughs> unboxing all these little um super mario brothers like little courses or whatever this is like lego and mario brothers they had yeah. a baby and they, they came up with like all these little obstacle courses that are really meant for children but as adults that really enjoy Super Mario Brothers, we're like, oh, we gotta fucking have it. So this is the first time we actually saw that they have a haunted house. And I was like, oh, bitch, we gotta get this. You wanna show him? Oh, yeah, so Mario. cute. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I love how he's like, Ugh. He is so sweet. I can't even. Oh, I can't even. I wanna show how bright his actual eyes oh, are. Oh, yeah, he's super bright. Like, I mean, how fucking cute is he? I can't even handle him. And yes, I bought the outfit, so he's Fire Mario. We almost got the Tanuki one. Oh, it's yeah, so close to getting the Tanuki oh, Mario. I should have fucking got the Tanuki one. It'll, it'll be in stock, it's fine. Do you know the jokes? My fucking heart, I can't even, I can't even, I'm gonna love the, Oh my god! <laughs> you, you can't to your phone, the Bluetooth. I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah. Little Bluetooth button. And like you build the courses and it's interactive and it's so it's, it's really fucking cool. Like, it's wish, really cool. I wish I had it, you know, when we were 15 children. fucking plus yeah. years ago. That would have been amazing. But. but anyway, this is in in keeping in the themes of like spooky shit or whatever. We got the little haunted house, which I'm super fucking excited to build or i.e. watch Alex build. And I just yell in the background. So I, I love this, but we have actually a nice little course so far, but we want to <laughs> extend it through our TV, like the, the console where we put our TVs and stuff like that have like a giant course underneath it because we are fucking children anyway yeah. love him ah! the next thing i got is these little skull like, cake lit pans which look really really cute and we're just pretty much going to make little teeny tiny muffins and or delicious cupcakes of some sort of fucking variety but in any case i thought this was really cute and that's actually something i don't have is a lot of baking stuff and uh now i don't have an excuse because uh we're gonna be baking all kinds of weird fucking skull shaped things throughout the course of the year i don't care it could be easter and i still yeah, want I a fucking that. actually that's pretty easter no, oh, fuck it. Eastern skulls, yeah. Yeah, sense. you know, eggs make so much sense. I was thinking of Jesus. Yeah, I know. Same. <laughs> The next one is these little silicone pans, which, I mean, these are just fucking really cute. These are little pumpkins. And I think for this, you can do like a lot of baking or molds and stuff. So a part of me really wants you to just make me cupcakes. I'm so excited. These are so fucking cute. I love them. I'll show my phone. Quiet on the set. <laughs> the other thing I love getting is these Pyrex containers. I fucking love them. I, I think I have like three other Halloween ones that I always collect throughout the years. There were three of them that I picked this year, which is usually there's about one or two. This one has a bunch of little ghosts on it, which are really fun. They're really cute. And I like these two because they're dishwasher safe because I am a lazy piece of shit. And once we've gotten a dishwasher, oh, I don't wash dishes anymore. Like I can't go back. I can't. When someone sends me something that's like hand wash only, I'm like, you fucking monster. Like I can only fuck with things that are dishwasher. But listen, to my credit though, I never had a dishwasher ever, ever in my life. So the fact that I've now seen the other side, I've seen and touched God, I can't fucking go back. I used to be the dishwasher, bitch, not anymore. Now I'm like, put the pot in and I'm all about that life. So anyway, so I got a couple of different Pyrex ones. I actually got this because it reminded me of my mom because she has a little black cat named Sophie that is apparently the number one child. Number one child, so fuck me, right? Anyway, Sophie, so it kind of reminded me of that, but look how cute. It says trick or treat, or no, boo scary. Oh, <laughs> so cute. And then the bigger one, which I'm actually kind of excited because I never see it this big before. They usually just have those smaller sizes. And this one just has a bunch of little pumpkins on it. Fun. Fun. <laughs> I love life. Pyrex is fun. I love Pyrex. Sponsor, Sponsor me. <laughs> All right, so basically I got like a huge fucking bag of lights, just lights. Now, what we like to do is pretty much just go around like the borders of the rooms and just put up holiday lights, whether it's going to be like Christmas lights or pretty much Halloween. And in our old apartment, we had them everywhere. So we haven't had a chance to do that here. I wish I could fuck it. Let's buy all the lights now. So we have like this cute little pumpkin boy, skull boy, ghost boy, 
And you can see they change all different colors, which is really fucking adorable. Little eyeballs, because why not? And then I pretty much got like three string lights of like just the classic Halloween colors of like orange, green, and purple. And then of course these will be swapped out when Christmas comes and then we'll just swap these out <laughs> with a bunch of different Christmas lights, but still keep up the fucking eyeballs and the skeletons yeah. and the bats Pumpkin and the pumpkins. Fuck that. And then I think this is the last thing technically. Oh my God, him. I just love him so much. He's such a little sweet boy. And I'm gonna put this in actually on my front door. They did have a couple of different wreaths and stuff like that, which kind of look cute, but I was like, meh, whatever. But this, I was like, this is perfect. And we're gonna have him up year round. But he is so fucking cute. Has a little broomstick. Can't fucking handle it. I love him. I love him to pieces. Pretty much it in terms of like Halloween decor and stuff. It's like a little pumpkin beard. Oh yeah, so then also the other two things that we got, which I'm not gonna pick them up because they're all the way over there and I'm just like being a lazy fat piece of shit. But we got, if you're really looking for a like good pumpkin beer recommendations, definitely check out Shipyard. It doesn't have like a high alcohol content, but I love the taste of it. And then there's also Pumpkin, which has a higher alcohol content and like at least three of those and you're just fucked. Oh, those are those are good. Yeah, those the many, good. many times where I just got way too fucked up on <laughs> like a couple of those and just, you know, just repeated myself about 600 fucking times. And then fun ensues. I am gonna say though, like as much as like I did pick up a lot of different things, I am really disappointed with the Halloween selection for this year. And it probably has everything to do with the fact that it's COVID and whatever. But yeah, a lot of this stuff I feel like was kind of repeats from last year or the year before. And then when we went to Spirit Halloween, which by the way, I thought like Spirit Halloween was supposed to be like not open this year. So that kind of surprised me. But when we went in there, there was like really nothing. The only cool things they did have was a lot of Beetlejuice stuff. But by the time that we went to go find an actual Spirit Halloween, store in New York. A lot of the cool Beetlejuice shit was kind of gone. So unfortunately we didn't really pick up anything in Spirit Halloween, which kind of sucks because I was really hoping to get some cool stuff. They did have a lot of Ouija board things, which I was kind of contemplating, but again, my spiritual advisor told me that I should never have that in my house. So I can't have that in my house. <laughs> but if you want to look for cute little Ouija board stuff, there's definitely a lot there. Yeah, I would say that's pretty much it in terms of like Halloween stuff. Actually, we have been watching a bunch of different horror movies. So I can give you, I guess, a couple of different horror movies recommendations yeah. what y'all should do check out shutter this is not sponsored by shutter or anything like that notice us. but notice us <laughs> give me a code please but shutter is a really cool online service it's think of it kind of like netflix or like hulu or something like that it's about 4.99 a month but they do have like a week free trial so if you want to try it out of course there's always free codes that are like kind of flowing around online that gives you about one month for free and uh they have a lot actually like a lot of good good horror movies that are on that platform which is kind of surprising because i remember when shutter first came out there was literally nothing and now there's like a lot of good stuff and it's not just uh, American horror films there's also like a lot of international ones which are my favorites because I actually find them to be scary unlike American ones so just saying but we did watch a couple of good films as of late and my recommendation well, our recommendations would be actually I'm not even going to tell you any spoilers or anything no, like that try to link them down below the trailers and just go check them out and if you like them let me know if you watch them and whatever. But Summer of 84, Scare Package. And then I think Scream Queen, My Nightmare on Elm Street. And the movie Spiral, which we actually just watched the other That's night, nice. which was really fucking, that was really That's good. good if you are kind of interested in seeing kind of future video or like videos like this, where we kind of give you recommendations for horror movies, let me know. Or any, it doesn't have to be horror. Yeah, it, or any scary. movies or anything like that. Let me know, because I would love to do that. Something different, you know, because how much, how much fucking eyeshadow can we talk about? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck that. Let me know down below if you're going to be dressing up for Halloween or if you have found some good Halloween goods. Let me know where you got them because I need more. This is not enough. <laughs> and uh, if you are going to get dressed up this year, what are you going to be? We are definitely not going to get dressed up because Alex will probably have to be working on Halloween. So it'll just be me eating candy alone as per usual. So anyway, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. As always, feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon to all my beautiful, wonderful patron babies. I love your face. Thank you so, so much for keeping this disgusting, trashy garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do it without you. And, um, you know, if you rang my bell, I definitely would give you treats. Sounded kind of weird when I said that. That did sound weird. <laughs> and we're gonna leave it at that. <laughs>
I probably should have specified if it was Halloween, not just like a normal Tuesday. I'm just gonna shut the fuck up. All right. <laughs> if you wanna know what is currently on my face along with where to get my merch, which by the way, this is the Halloween merch. This is my garbage pumpkin, which I guess that's my costume this year. I am a garbage pumpkin. But if you wanna see this or the dead and bored Halloween shirt, I will link everything down below in the description box. Keep staying safe, keep wearing a mask, keep fighting that good fight and wash your damn hands and register to vote for the love of anything, just register to vote. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.